Hi everybody, it's Ginger with Marvelous Mouse Travels, and today I'm gonna take you on a tour of Disney's newest on-property resort hotel. Offering spacious villa-style accommodations and its own private Disney Skyliner station, there's so much to love about the brand new Riviera Resort. So come with me to check it out. Disney's Riviera Resort opened in December of 2019 and is themed after the French and Italian Rivieras. This hotel offers deluxe villa-style accommodations, including tower studio villas, deluxe studio villas, one-bedroom villas, and two-bedroom villas. The tower studios sleep up to two adults and offer a flexible living and sleeping space, as well as a private balcony. The deluxe studio villas sleep up to five adults in one queen bed, one queen pull-down bed, and one single pull-down bed. They also offer a kitchenette. The one-bedroom villas also sleep up to five adults, but they offer one king bed, one queen pull-down bed, and one single pull-down bed. They also come equipped with a washer and dryer and a fully equipped kitchen. The two-bedroom villas sleep up to nine adults in one king-size bed, two queen beds, one queen pull-down bed, and one single pull-down bed. They also come equipped with two full bathrooms as well as a full kitchen and a washer and dryer. Here you can see the main hub of Disney's Riviera Resort. Off of the central area, you'll find the main retail location on site, La Boutique, as well as Le Petit Café, which is a lovely little coffee shop where I got to enjoy a delicious latte with my kids. Just past Le Petit Café, you'll find the Voyager's Lounge, which is a great place to relax, read, and play some board games. The Riviera was one of Walt Disney's favorite places to vacation with his family, and here you can see some wonderful family photographs. If you're in the mood for some delicious European-inspired cuisine, make your way to the top floor of Disney's Riviera Resort to visit Topolino's Terrace. At breakfast, Topolino's is a character meal, allowing you to meet Mickey and Minnie Mouse, as well as several other of the clubhouse pals. At dinner, Topolino's is a signature restaurant, which if you're on the Disney dining plan will cost you two table service credits. You can also get a great view of other Disney resorts, as well as Disney attractions like the Tower of Terror and Hollywood Studios. Now let's take a look inside La Boutique. One of the things that impressed me most about La Boutique was how much resort-specific merchandise they carried. We were able to find a lot of different pins, apparel, coffee mugs, picture frames, bags, luggage, and even a resort-specific lounge fly bag as well as resort-specific mini ears. The price on this resort-specific polo shirt was $90. This Riviera dress was $75. The 
price on this bag was $50, and if you want a matching set, they also had a picture frame as well as a shirt in the same design. Cute Mickey and Minnie ornaments were $25. These Riviera specific mini ears were $30, which is the same price for your standard mini ears throughout the parks. And here's that great resort specific lounge fly bag. cute Minnie Mouse shirt was $60. This long sleeve Riviera t-shirt was $40. This mug was $18 and had an adorable Mickey and Minnie design on the back. These plushes are also unique to the Riviera because they echo how the characters are dressed at the character breakfast at Topolino's Terrace. I have a reservation for that restaurant booked for my family for our next trip down in May, and I'm so excited to get to share our review of that dining experience once we've done it. So check back with the channel in the coming months for that. This staircase leads down from that main hub area we were looking at earlier and leads out to some other dining options as well as the pool area. My kids had so much fun looking at these international movie posters for well-known Disney and Pixar films. Just down this hallway you'll find Primo Piatto which is the main quick service location at the Riviera. I love the exterior architecture as well as the grounds of the Riviera. The Riviera is located on the same property as Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort, and so you have beautiful water views. Here you can also see the pool area with the posted hours from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And you can also get a glimpse of this great water slide that I'm sure kids would love. Just down from the entrance to Primo Piatto, you can see Bar Riva, which serves as the pool bar here at the Riviera. In addition to its main themed pool, the Riviera also has a quiet pool. We're now going to begin making our way over towards the Disney Skyliner station at Disney's Riviera Resort. As we look back at the resort, you can see the windows from Topolino's Terrace at the very top. In my opinion, one of the most attractive amenities of Disney's Riviera Resort is that private Skyliner station. The Disney Skyliner gondola system provides quick and easy transportation to Epcot as well as Disney's Hollywood Studios. With all of the exciting additions that have come to Hollywood Studios recently, as well as all of the great changes that are planned for Epcot in the near future, being within easy reach of those two parks is a great asset. I hope you've enjoyed our tour of Disney's brand new Riviera Resort. 
As you can see, this is a beautiful property that offers more spacious accommodations as well as great transportation options to Disney's theme parks. If you're considering Disney's Riviera Resort for your family's next vacation to Disney World, I would love to help you book and plan your trip. My planning services are complimentary when you book through me and include help with dining reservations, fast passes, as well as the creation of a custom itinerary and monitoring for discounts. And best of all, it's the same price to book with me as it is to book on your own through Disney's website. Again, I'm Ginger with Marvelous Mouse Travels. Thank you for watching.